But not just 100 million, but 1 billion people on GitHub can build software together. Yes. We're tearing down that waitlist for OpenAI 01. All Copilot users now have public access to O1 Preview and O1 Mini. There's more. There has been a model this year that has really caught fire with developers across the planet. What's his name again? Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So today, I'm excited to announce a new partnership with Anthropic, bringing the power of Claude to GitHub Copilot. But there is one more thing. You know, we mean it when we say multi-model choice. Today, lightning strikes twice. So we are thrilled to share a partnership with Google, bringing Gemini 1.5 Pro to GitHub Copilot. You know, what about all the people out there who want to build software but cannot write code? Like my comm staffers down here, my parents watching at home, my friends who are not in tech who still think coding looks like hieroglyphics. Well, today I got one more advancement to show you. An advancement that fundamentally blurs the line between a developer and the everyday person. Introducing GitHub Spark. GitHub Spark is an AI-native tool to build applications entirely in natural language. Now any person, no matter their experience, can create and share an application in a matter of minutes. Why don't we do another live demo? So here on the screen, you can see GitHub Spark. And the first thing you notice, it's not an IDE in the classic sense. I don't have to install Python first or, or figure out how sudo works with Homebrew. I see an input field of what I'm going to create. I, of course, have our new model picker here with different models. And I have all my recent Sparks. So you can kind of get an idea what you can do with Spark by just reading. So let's do a tic-tac-toe game with the hippo and a rubber duck, or a duck. Maybe it's just a duck. We'll see what the model does. And so here's my prompt, create a tic-tac-go game with ducks and hippos. And I click go, and now what happens is that the model behind the scenes does all the work for me. Now you have seen demos where you can do that in chat, and you have to figure out which code goes in, into which file. You know, you have to copy and paste stuff. You have to try to figure out how to terminal, uh, run the thing on the terminal. Here it just does it all uh, for us, streaming in digital, as you, as you can see on the screen. And at the bottom, you already see the console here where you can refine, you know, my prompt later. So here's my tic-tac-toe game, and of course I want Mu Dang to win, right? The hippo needs to win, so here's the duck. Um, let's see if I can still, here's my Mu Dang. Let's say the duck is playing it um, cool. Um, and yes, you know, win. Cool. And I, let me sh show you real quick at the bottom here, so I can obvi obviously, you know, add another uh, prompt here to refine my spark. I can theme it, so you know, um, I want light theme because it's bright out here in, in San Francisco. I can change the scale of my game. Let's see, a little bit bigger is cool. I can change the accent color. Uh, I can make all kinds of changes really quickly to the, to the UI. Um, I can click into my settings and add custom instructions similar to what Cassidy did earlier in VS Code. And I can store data in a, in a key value store that is backed by Azure Cosmos DB. Now, before I keep iterating here, and uh, run down the clock, um, my team has prepared an app um, behind the scenes that scans the conference badges. So this is all created in natural language. You can actually see here on the side, you see every single step along the way. You see all the prompts that they have tapped, so a lot of prompts you know, to get to this point uh, for the demo. And you can obviously also click on those and, and scroll back in history. But the cool thing, it actually works. So I can uh, open the camera here. Um, let's see, here I am. And uh, here's my conference badge, same as you all got. Oops, it went away. Where's my camera? Um, and then I scan my badge, and there's my photo, my name, my handle, and so on.